Hey guys, Hayden here from High Country Conservation Center, and today we're going to talk about a few common questions that we get about recycling. Uh, thank you to those who joined us for our Recycling 101 Q&A, and for those of you that didn't get to join us for that, that's okay. We're going to go over a couple of the questions that um, we had in that uh, Q&A uh, right here. So to get started, here in Summit County, we have our recycling drop-off centers and single stream as the two types of recycling um, that we have available to us. So I'm gonna go over some of the questions that we have about our drop-off sites. So those are gonna be the locations in Breckenridge, Frisco, and Silverthorne that accept the materials that are source separated. So you're putting each material in a separate bin. So to get started, we're gonna dive into plastics. So it's gonna be a little complicated, but I'm gonna to try to make this pretty straightforward. So at the drop sites, we have plastics number one and number two bottles only. So that's gonna be your plastic drinking bottles like this, screw cap number one, and number two, a little more rigid, uh, sometimes colored, um, and it's gonna be a screw cap as well. So making sure that food contamination is rinsed out of these um, to the best of your ability, um, is going to be key because food contamination um, makes these trash. Um, they are not uh, very valuable um, when they have food in them. So um, they don't like it uh, when they get to the recycling centers um, for processing. Um, additionally, lids. So your lids from your water bottles, um, making sure that the lid is removed and the lid is placed in the trash. These cause contamination and litter along the supply chain and uh, they don't want them in the recycling. So number one bottles, number two bottles, making sure that only bottles um, and nothing else. Uh, common materials are clamshells, right? Our fruits, berries, and salad clamshells. These may be number one plastics, but they cannot go in our drop sites here um, because they cause contamination. Next is cardboard and paperboard. So egg cartons, we've been getting a lot of questions. At our drop sites, we now have carton recycling um, located near the food scrap bins. Um, and that is not for egg cartons. Egg cartons go in cardboard and paperboard bin. Um, so making sure that these go in the correct bin. What you're looking for is the aseptic container carton. So it's a gable top type design. Um, these are going to be the aseptic container that juice and milk come in, um, as well as soup and broth. Making sure that these end up in the carton bin is very important because if these end up in cardboard or mixed paper, they cause contamination. Additionally, if you can remove the, uh, the plastic lid, um, on some of them it's easy. Um, that does help, but if not, that's okay. So flatten these down making sure that they uh, end up in the carton um, container is very important. Um, the key to these drop sites is recycling right. So wishful recycling, where we're just putting anything in these, in these bins because we think it's recyclable, uh, causes more contamination, more work, it costs more money, and a lot of it ends up um, creating more trash in the long run. So the best thing that we can do as residents, as citizens, is recycling right, making sure our recyclables are clean so they're free of food uh, contamination, and making sure that we're recycling the correct materials like I went through. Um, additionally, glass. So glass at the drop sites is separated by color. You have clear and then your mixed uh, colors, brown, green, and amber. Um, Additionally, in single stream, glass is not accepted. That is because it creates contamination in single stream recycling. So we have our glass stations um, through clear intentions located throughout the county, which you can find on our website. Uh, so definitely track those down if you have glass um, and you don't wanna take it to the drop site. Uh, finally, our food scrap program. Awesome program, free to sign up. Uh, they are locked, so when you enroll in the program, you will receive the uh, combination for that and instruction on what is accepted. Um, it's a very easy program to uh, participate in. 
you collect the food scraps at home, you bring them to the recycling centers where you empty the contents into the food scrap bins. Those get taken to the Summit County Landfill where our composting facility is located and uh, they get turned into high quality compost. Um, an awesome program and um, free to sign up. So there's no reason not to. Um, and with all of us cooking at home more nowadays, um, we definitely are seeing more food waste. So it would be great if you haven't joined the program to sign up today. Uh, just go to our website, highcountryconservation.org and go to our food scrap page and uh, you can sign up right there. Uh, super quick and easy. Uh, some of those were some of the uh, common questions that we get about the recycling uh, drop-off centers and the materials that are accepted there. If you do have any other questions, feel free to reach out to us. I'm going to throw a page up real quick, uh, so bear with me for just a moment. Um, so this has some of our contact info. Like I said, highcountryconservation.org slash recycle. You can find all the information about recycling at the drop sites for single stream. We have a map that shows you the glass stations, uh, where they're located, as well as our recycling drop-off centers. If you still have questions, here's our emails. Uh, you can get a hold of us via email or um, uh, by phone. So please don't hesitate to give us a call and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Thank you so much, guys. And think before you throw.